Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy the 20th chapter. Here in Israel united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. We are here to teach our people, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that you are the children of God, and that you need to come back to keep His laws, His statutes, and commandments in order to be uh, saved, all right? So we're going to jump back to Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Acts 3.19, repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So you got to repent and turn away. Turn away. First uh, Corinthians 12 and 2. That's correct. But guess what? We we all were were this wicked right, before we were The thing is, is that we won't do that anymore. That's right. All right. You got that? First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. Uh, give me uh, give me Romans 12 and 2. Romans 12 and 2. All right. So, yes, at one point in time, we were all wicked, all right? We were all out here being fornicators, all out being uh, idolaters, uh, uh, adulterers, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, getting drunk, celebrating idolatry. Cinco de Mayo is idolatry, all right? Romans chapter 12 verse 2, Come on. and be not conformed to this world. So be not conformed to this world. What is that talking about? It's a pagan day, right? Yeah, this is this is a pagan day. We are here, our people are out here celebrating paganism. That's right. All right, not celebrating the Most High God's uh, High Holy Day, which is the Sabbath. All right. Get out. Yet and still, we want to be out here drinking, walking around, walking around with our, our young daughters, our young mothers, dressed like whores. Bring All right. Out. Get out. All of this, I'm I'm saying, coming straight from the Bible. That's right. All right. Come back. And be not conformed to this world. So just because the world says it's Cinco de Mayo. They, all the world wants to do is sell you beer, sell you wine, sell you liquor, cigarettes. So they can get the money. They taking the money out your pockets. And they told you it was important. We ain't never grew up celebrating no Cinco de Mayo. Bring it up. Go ask your grandma. Bring it up. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How? By getting and reading this Bible. That's right. How you doing, sis? Come step over here. Come have a conversation with me. You don't have to yell, sis. I don't want you to lose your voice. Oh, praise. We're preaching the word of God. That's right. All right. So, what's your name, sis? I'm Carmelia. Carmelia, all praises. Do you believe in the Bible? Okay. Somewhat. Let me, let me ask you why you say somewhat. Because the Bible is transcribed to whatever, whoever, whoever um, interpreted the Bible. Was First Peter's one twenty. Again, and again, like a telephone. Okay. Okay. First Peter's one twenty. Let's get it. Bring it up. So that's a common thing that our people uh, typically say. Second Peter. Second Peter. So a lot of our people say that the Bible has been uh, translated time over time and, you know, it could have been something wrong, but yet and still we won't take the opportunity to get in here and read it and see the truth that is in the Bible. We, we, we heard that saying and we just go with it. We're like, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Let me, so let me, answer, your, let me answer your first question. Let me ask you your first question first. You know, for Judaism, for all different religions. Okay. Why don't we all have the same Bible? Why don't okay, we all have a, the same Bible? Let me, all, but they, they yes, let me answer your question, all right? 
This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So no no interpret no uh, prophecy of these scriptures are of uh, any private interpretation, meaning the most high made these these words clear, clear to understand. Slavery, did it happen to our people? It happened to a lot of people. Did it did slavery on slave ships happen to our people? Did these pictures right here happen to our people? All right. Did uh, they, uh give me that. Give me this one. Did coming on slave ships happen to everybody else or our people? Were we were we not here? Give me the other one. Give me that other one. Give me that other one. Did this happen to our people? It did. It did. It happened to our people. Let's get that. Deuteronomy 28. Let's let's cut let's cut all the let's make sure that the people know the Bible is real. Were we not sold on auction blocks? Did that happen to everybody? That did not happen to everybody. All right. Come on. Yes. Get it. Deuteronomy 28, 15. And it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, these curses, if we don't follow God's laws, statutes, and commandments, it will we will be cursed according to the most high God. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Verse 48. So, again, if we don't follow God's law, statutes, and commandments, all these curses will come upon us. Were all those other nations bound in chains, put on ships, walked from one nation to another? Break it up. They were not. The, the, the so-called Jews, right, they were put on trains. They weren't bound. They didn't have chains. They didn't have things around their necks. Bring it up. They didn't, another nation didn't come from another land and come over to oppress them. Bring it up. That happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and they, they came over here as indentured service, meaning they said they were going to work, all right, and they got free. They got free. They worked for their freedom. Are you free right now? Yeah, I am free. You're not free, sis. I am free. In my mind, I'm free. Look at, look at, I'm Mexican and motherfucking black. Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are still in our captivity this day. We are still in our captivity this day. What thou hast scattered us, the Most High God scattered us over here to America, over to Mexico, over to Cuba, over to Puerto Rico. We have been scattered. And a curse. You are hated, sis, by your oppressors. You are hated by your oppressors. But yet we want to love them like they love us. Like, they, like we think they love us. Bring it out. Read that part again. For a reproach. A reproach. You walk in, in, in uh, Minnetonka. Just walk out on the street and see, won't you? Okay, but I'm saying you go to a, another another neighborhood. All these places, and you and you were where in the ghettos, no, in the low, in low, ghetto. low parts of the land. In Mississippi, he was on the For a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments, you be subject to payments. I'm not gonna taxes. You gotta pay that. Okay, yeah. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which the part. So we are we are in this captivity today because of the things that our fathers have done. All right, but what we have to do is come back to teaching God's laws, and statutes, and commandments. All right? Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. All right, so the Lord was said that if we didn't do his laws, his statutes, his commandments, he was going to bring us into Egypt. Let's find out what the Bible calls Egypt. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So he brought us out of the land of Egypt. We all, you're aware of that story, right? How Moses brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Is that, is that in the Bible or not? I'm going to take this. You choose. Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. The house of bondage. Egypt is a house of bondage. The house of slavery. All right? So we're going to jump back to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse
68. Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord is going to bring us into slavery again with ships. My question, who did that happen to? Did it happen to the so-called Jews? No. Did it happen to uh, the East Indians? No. Did it happen to the so-called Irish? No. Bring it out. Happened to the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's Come right. to this land on slave ships. That's right. Make him answer that. By the way, where have I spake unto thee? Just like Moses said, we were going to do. All right? Thou shalt see it no more again. We shall not see our homeland anymore again. What slavery ended? Did we ever go back to Africa? No. Was there a free ship back to Africa? No. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And there, and there, that land that you came to, America, you will be sold to your friends, to your enemies. The Bible calls them our enemies. For bondmen, for slave men, and bond women, and slave women. What are we reading? No man shall buy you. No man is going to be able to redeem us out of that captivity. Because even though we think we're free today, we are definitely not free. Where you at? Joel chapter 3 and verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people. They cast lots for our people. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans were sold on the auction blocks. Bring it up. We were sold on the auction blocks. Bring it up. That's the Coming true, That's ringing right. in your ears. Don't deny it. Bring it right. And I've given a boy for an harlot. They sold a boy for a whore. That's and right. sold a girl for wine that they might drink. So this is all true. And what are we reading? Are we teaching hate or are we teaching the Bible? We're teaching the Bible. Right. Deuteronomy 28, 48. Deuteronomy 28, 48. 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because you don't want to serve the Lord thy God, honor his Sabbath day, which is today. That's right. Participate in interracial marriage. Smoke weed. Smoke cigarettes. Have baby mamas. Baby daddies. This is the curse that will come upon you. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart through the abundance of all things. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Because you all don't want to listen to God, he going to make you serve your enemies. Right? And we, we just read what enemies we're talking about. Those which bought our people on slave ships. The so-called white man, the so-called Caucasians. That's right. They sold our people. And we are going to serve them because we don't want to serve the Most High God. Break it out. Thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. So, if we want something to eat, we got to go to our oppressors. Yeah. McDonald's, Culver's, Wendy's, uh, Cub Foods. We got to serve our enemies. All right? Clothing, Sean John, Rockerwear, Jordan. All right, we got to serve our people. Sis, what's your name in the red? Angel, do you have any questions? I see you reading the flyer. Uh, what, am, what race am I supposed to buy for? Like, what race am I supposed to buy for? That's a great question. The sister just asked, what race is she uh, according to the Bible? All right. Uh, give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. All right. Because we was reading in Deuteronomy 28. You heard us talking about the curses, right? And Moses was speaking to a certain nation of people. Okay. Let's see what that nation was. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses was speaking to all Israel. So I'm going to flip that back on you, sis. What nation of people are you? Those curses apply to your people, right? So what nation of people are you? Let's read it again. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. What nation are you? You're an Israelite. 
according That's to the Bible. That's right. You're an Israelite. What's, what's the nationality of your father? So-called African-American. Because that term, African-American, all right, that came out in the 80s by Jesse Jackson. He just termed African-American. Before that, what were we? Blacks. What else? Color. Negroes. Niggas. Bring it up! We were all those names, but God never called us those names. But that's one of the curses of the Bible, that we would not know who we are according to the Bible. You got that for me? Uh, 36. Deuteronomy 28, 36. Come on. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt... No, that's not it. Uh, 37. Deuteronomy 28, 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A proverb. We shall become an astonishment. A proverb. That is a wise saying. Black people love what? Fried chicken. Right? We love watermelon. All right? And a byword. A byword. That is another word other than your God-given name. Right. That's, right. that's your African-American today. That's black. My shoes are black. My pants are black. Your skin color is not black. Break it out. You're brown. This man is not white. He's red. That's Break right. it out. White is the color of these, the background of the signs. White is the color of your, your son's shirt. All right, those are bywords. And because we didn't want to serve the Most High God, we have become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Take a look around. Look at our people. We're lost and destroyed. That's right. We're all out here lost and destroyed. We don't know who we are. That's a great question that you ask. Who are we? We're the Israelites, according to the Bible. That's right. Give me Revelations chapter 3 and verse 9. Actually, 2 and verse 9. Bring it up. Because you may be saying that we're not Jews. The Jews are white. They're the ones over there in Israel. Israel became a country in 1948. Break it out. The Bible is older than that. Slavery is older than that. They took that man. They set those people up and called them so-called Jewish. That's right. Break it out. Jewish because they can't be the true Jews of the Bible. That's right. They let the Bible speak. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation. So the Most High God says he knows the works and the tribulations of the, his people. The so-called Israelites according to the Bible. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the true Jews. Teach up! And come, but thou art rich. So, the, the people who are walking around calling themselves Jews today, are they in poverty as a nation? No, they're not. They own many corporations. They have, uh, if you go to New York, they have little neighborhoods where they have their own police force. They're not in poverty. All right? And I know the blasphemy of the... He says he knows the blasphemy of the blasphemy. Which say they are... And I know the blasphemy of them, which say they are Jews. There are people walking around today talking about we're the Jews, all right? And are not. And what? And are not. The Bible is a plain book. You are a Jew according to the Bible, sis. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.